In the months leading up to the mass shooting in Uvalde, Texas, authorities say the gunman posted concerning messages about guns on social media, and he even talked about shooting up a school in some private chats. Law enforcement officials say they've seen similar warning signs before other tragedies. It happened before the massacre at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida. And it happened before the deadly shooting at Oxford High School in Michigan. The signs were there for somebody to flag, but all too often, they go unreported. CNBC's Shamari Stone now on the challenges schools are facing. Today, investigators say before the 18-year-old went on the rampage, he made several alarming posts, including one as far back as March about buying a gun and posting, quote, 10 more days. It appears no one reported the post to police or Uvalde school officials. In Montgomery County, Maryland, officials say social media training is not part of their drills. It's not necessarily a part of the training that we do with the kids. But they urge students to report threats. See something, say something, because that launches an investigation. And the police have the skills to find within social media who's, doing that, who's making that threat. It's just horrifying to know that when kids go to school, they have to worry about, like, getting gunned down. Christian Langford is a high school senior. So what we're told is to first identify authorities and then also let the school know what's going on. Investigators also say the shooter locked himself in a classroom while officers waited in the hallway for nearly an hour. They finally entered by using a key from a janitor. It's unclear why the officers did it break down the door. They should have tactical tools to enter those rooms at the moment they're ready to go. Kenneth Trump is the president of National School Safety and Security. It's a shooter. It's a he says many schools do not give master keys to law enforcement, adding police need to do whatever it takes to get in. If you're coming in as a tactical unit with police, fire and other equipment, you would think that they would be able to have some basic tools that could breach a relatively weak door structure in the first place, rather than to have to wait for somebody to say, here's a key. School safety experts say there is a lot to be learned from the shooting in Uvalde. One told me, quote, perhaps first responders should have keys to classrooms.